So here we are again. It's the end of another holiday, thank goodness. Wasn't a hard one this time, so that was that was good. And we only had a couple of bad days. And that was only night times, thankfully. So not so bad. I am still trying to get used to this camera, so please do bear with me. Hopefully this is a bit better than it was last time. For anyone that's interested, this is a Cine 2 profile on Sony camera. Hopefully it looks better than it did last time. Anyway, so topic of today, PF Sense. What's going on with uh, PF Sense Plus and them taking away the, the home lab option or more accurately, charging for the home lab option. Let's talk about it. So recently, NetGate has um, published a, a blog post on on their website, just outlining what they've what what's happened and, and what they're doing to go forward. It is slightly disappointing, and it's not by any means NetGate's fault. It just so happens to impact me quite profoundly, which is unfortunate. And I don't know how long my PF Sense install will last before it starts charging me. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, I guess. So let's take a look at what has happened. So basically what's happened is NetGate PFSense Plus TAC Lite available for 129 per year, US dollars. This happened just a couple of days after my birthday, which was uh, not the surprise I was waiting for. <laughs> But there we go. So they go on to say that their relationship with the community of contributors, supporters, customers, and users is valued, which is good to hear. And that's that's what you want to hear. But their project has been weaponized against them. And I understand why they're saying this. They're, they're basically saying that people are taking advantage of their the home lab offering, which was completely free up until this point, all you had to do was register. You got to be on the commercial fork of PF Sense, PF Sense Plus, which was brilliant for me. It, it opened up a few options that I didn't have before. I'm not going to get into those right now, but essentially, what's happened is that bad actors out there are selling devices with PF Sense. Plus installed and registered with a TAC Lite Home Lab Edition so that they can sell it with PF Sense Plus on it and market it with PF Sense Plus. Now, I haven't seen any of these devices in the wild. I haven't seen any advertising for them. But it is slightly annoying that, as per is always the case with these kind of things, small minority ruins it for the rest of us. Kind of sums up the world at the moment, doesn't it? Small minority ruins it for the rest of us. What can you do? They're still taking feedback on this, and they freely admit that they reacted quickly. They made mistakes, and they want to apologise for that. Which, again, is... I have no problem with companies making mistakes. It's how they react to those mistakes that, that makes them stand out to me. Customer service is way, 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 way more important than people give it credit for. It's almost as important as the product itself. Now, it's hard to be critical of NetGate. I wish there was a way that they could verify these things more robustly. How do you do that, though? How do you take somebody at their word if uh, they're going to go behind your back and do it anyway? So we, we shall see. Hopefully they are able to bring it back at some point. Like I said, maybe with, I don't know, a NetGate account of some sort. I don't know how they want to do it. But I know that there will be other people out there 
that would want that and it would be a shame for me to have to move away from PFSense because I really enjoy using PFSense. I enjoy making content on PFSense as most of you will know and it will be a shame. But uh, yeah, they do go on and obviously they're, they're highlighting what you get for your subscription money. Let's have a quick look at that. There you go. It's a shame, really is a shame because it, it was, I mean, essentially, I don't want to put too fine a point on this, but by what I do, doing tutorials and, and it's essentially promotion. And I know there are others out there that do it and we're not doing it for any kind of payday. We're not doing. It. I don't get money from Netgate. I don't. I don't really have a relationship with Netgate at all. I enjoy their product. That's all I can tell you. But uh, it would be a shame if if this was to go the way of the dinosaur because, like I said, it is so much better for me to use this and be able to have all the options available. But if that's the, it goes the way of the dinosaur, it goes the way of the dinosaur. And it we a massive, massive shame. And, and to Netgate, if you do happen to see this, I'm not saying you will. I understand why you've done it. I hope that you can find a way to, to bring it back. That would be fantastic. Maybe reach out to creators that are showing off your software. I don't know. <laughs> Obviously, that is entirely down to you guys and I will of course stand by your terms and services if, if it means that I have to go back down to PFSense CE Community Edition then that's what I'll do I'd rather not I really enjoy the, the plus but uh, yeah it's a shame that it's come to this and again like I said Actions of a small minority screw it up for the rest of us. I'm going to leave it there. It, I'm annoyed that these people have screwed up the good faith of Netgate. Really annoyed. I, d I don't want to move away from PF Sense. I really don't. I, I've got to put that out there. I love using. PF sense. Yeah, supply chain attacks. Yeah. Netgate, keep doing what you're doing. Hopefully, you can bring it back in some way. I don't know how. I'm not saying that. This is really difficult because I'm not saying that creators should have priority and, and, and should be a. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, I hope you can manage to bring some sort of authentication where you can actively sit I don't know I don't know what I'm talking about <laughs> I appreciate your software Netgate as I say hopefully you can bring it back I'm gonna leave it there um, stay safe everyone and I'll see you in the next video bye bye <laughs>